Hey guys, James Doyle here, and I've made a few videos that I all comprised into this one film here for you guys that's about this incredible barn find. All these cars were owned by my dear friend Mario, who got these cars with the intent of restoring them, and all of them have something unique about them. But now it's time for Mario to downsize, and your dream car project might be in this video. Now I'm filming this video on November 12th of 2021, so hopefully that's still available. Enjoy the video as we walk through some incredible automotive history. I hope you may find your dream project in this beautiful field of dreams. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, James. Dad, do you see the red light? It's right over here. Are you live? I'm seeing it on the camera, buddy. We're live! James Doyle here, and we are interacting with my friend Mario here. And I am aware, uh, a lot of you guys are aware, I did a video uh, a little bit ago at Mario's other location where he's selling a pile of really, really cool cars and, you know, cool projects for people. And I'm actually here at his other location now. And uh, Mario, tell us a little bit about what's uh, what's happening here and uh, some of the highlights you have here. Well, 38 Chrysler here uh, it was in a, in a barn for over 30 years. Great car to restore. It's all metal. It's not rotten. Ready to go. 70, there's a 72 Buick uh, convertible, 65 Ford Park Lane, and uh, a couple Sunbeam Alpines here. So let's uh, take a quick look at this. They're from Saskatchewan. We're doing. Uh, this one's a little rougher, but that one's fairly nice. It actually runs and drives. So there's a lot of projects here that uh, need uh, need somebody to, to give them a little bit of loving exactly. and a little bit of work. And uh, if somebody wanted to, you know, they can get the pair of them to be able to uh, potentially have one that they want to build and exactly. the other to have exactly. parts for it. There's a couple of rare cars there. There's a 75 Vega there with uh, air oh, conditioning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I, I want to just show that. It's got great wheels on it. <laughs> and then there's also an Alfa Romeo GT5 that's very rare. Uh, that that's be a nice car to restore for somebody. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it does need a lot of work, but it's uh, it is restorable. That's the red one here. The motor transmission is out of it, but. Uh, that would make a great little car to restore. Here, I still at Mario's place right now. I did a video with Mario a few minutes ago. Now we're uh, yeah, you can hear the junkyard dog in the background. Yeah, who left the dogs out there? But today, uh, right here, we're actually showing some Corvettes he has here in the back. So look at this vet. This is actually a really nice one. They have a T-bar roof on it, and it has a, and of a course, lot they of all the need work, right? Exactly. They all need work, but they're all restorable. But if you need Corvette parts. You can get this one, uh, or you know, once from here, uh, which is really, really good. And let me show you. Hang on, over there, we've got a Mercedes here. Exactly, nice Mercedes. But over there is uh, a pretty cool Cadillac. Yes, that's right. That Cadillac, actually, in particular, Mario was talking to me about talking about how he actually really admired that car and its design when it came out, which is cool. But Let's go see the other vet. Exactly. And also something you can see here is on the back, the wing there on the back. That looks really yeah. cool. And There's then, a lot of Corvette bodies around here too. Exactly. Fronts and backs. Frames as well. There's also killer dogs, so don't come here yeah. at night. Now, <laughs> now look at this. This is a really nice car here. That is uh, good. The, you, honestly, a car like this, the blue paint, uh, the blue paint fixed up, it looked really, really <laughs> nice. See the bottom uh, across the bottom there. This that's car, in, that's in really good condition, actually. This is a car I really want to see done. You know, look at the interior there. You can get a good look. Uh, oh yeah, interior. yeah. Um, but this one looks. Really and then really like nice. the, the, I think it's called a T-bar roof. Someone will correct yeah, the me. The fiberglass is chipping, but that's easily fixable. Um, but this you one. You know who? You know who could fix that? Hmm. Who? Probably Alicia. Alicia from uh, Alicia Custom Paint. You can yeah. definitely do all this and make this into a beautiful car. And then uh, this one is definitely fixable. Now this one as well is fixable. It's a, it's a pretty nice one. It, of course it has fiberglass glass problems as well. Um, but you know, the interior is going. But That's again, it, it's it's all fixable. Everything on this is uh, doable. It would be a beautiful project. 
Uh, this, you know, ones like this at this kind of level would be really fun for somebody to get for them to do with their son or their daughter kind of thing to be able to have a family project. That's what I really see here is a lot of family projects. These cars can bring, you know, families together to have something they can really enjoy, which is cool. So but true. So it, true. So, so that's what I'm really enjoying the most about being here to see all these cars is because I can see the potential of, you know, how it can bring people together more than what the cars can become, which is really, really cool to see. Yeah, I just want to do this quick video, show these two, uh, Corvettes here and uh, and, then, and we have lots of previous videos exactly we have a video done at uh, Mario's other location where uh, he has a lot of other beautiful cars Corvettes uh, Ferraris Mustangs but just one video back we were uh, showing you know uh, what exactly else is in this we we're yard. showing at this yard at the other end and uh, we <laughs> drove around to this end to show you what's here and then again you can go uh, search further down my page You'll be able to see my first video I did at Mario's other location where there's a lot of nice cars as well. But Mario is a great selection. I'll add Mario's email to here so you can actually see his email to be able to contact him regards if you're interested in cars, uh, into the cars. And uh, Any one don't, of those collections. Yeah, don't, don't reach out to him just to tire kick, you know. if you Message him if you're genuinely interested in some of his cars. And if not, you know, don't use... You know, he, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's busy. He is a busy, busy man. He's got a lot of man. to do. He's got the uh, crane working here. And exactly. He's a busy, yeah. busy man. So that's but I why. love this. Yeah, exactly. This so is actually. just why, you know. I was really surprised exactly. what great condition this thing's in. Exactly. And you can see. I mean, you know, great condition's relevant. <laughs> exactly. So it is, uh, it is really, really good. But anyways, I want to make a quick video showing these beautiful Corvettes. They all look really, really nice. And we'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Hey James. Hey Dad, see the red light? I see red everywhere. Are we live? You got it. We're live! James Doyle here and uh, we are here actually at the yard. I'm not, I can't disclose the location of where we're at. It's a secret location. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool cars here that are, you know, kind of cars that are really great for uh, people's projects for guys. You know, you guys can get a car from here and uh, you can restore it yourself. And I'm actually Zach the expert uh, with these kind of things, a uh, close friend of mine. And Zach has uh, done a lot of these kind of uh, builds and his work on these stuff. And uh, David has come out to check out some cars as well. Say hi, David. This is not my backyard, <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'd move in for sure. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so we're uh, doing some stuff here. You can actually check out beautiful 328 here. So uh, it's going to be, GTS, uh, this so. video is going to be about 20 minutes. 20, it's going to be 15, 20 minutes. We're going to walk through the, walk whole, through the yard. whole yard. So if there's something here you guys are interested in, uh, you guys can uh, we'll, check it out and we'll be pointing out some really notable cars uh, in the collection that are really cool. But again, starting with this beautiful and, and Ferrari we're post that we just email. showed. Uh, yeah, we will post an email that you guys can contact the owner yeah. uh, uh, if you're interested. But don't, 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 you know, message him just to uh, kick tires and you know that kind of thing. You know, if you you only message him if you're genuinely yeah, interested just, just in something. Respectful. Be respectful, exactly. Okay, good. So, so let's look at this fellow. Yeah, so we'll start with the uh, Ferrari uh, that's here, and uh, I believe it was in fire there. But it has uh, some really cool things. The uh, most of body these are salvage, yeah. Quite well. A lot of them is, yes. And that one there is a, a 328, 328 GTS, yeah. Is uh, Zach, the one on the other side, is that the same? I believe so. Yeah, that one is the uh, the same. That's another 328. And it's actually really cool because they have uh, they also have a variety of different cars uh, from different things. Uh, they have, uh, actually, if you look on that side there, they have the... Uh, I believe a pre-World War II uh, Chrysler, if, if I'm not mistaken. What do you yes. think, Zach? Correct. And, and what uh, was the what was the motor in it, Zach? It's got a flathead inline six, one of the easiest motors you'll ever work on. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Hey, you know what? I see all of our friends from Highway 11. Their eyes just lit up. Exactly. We uh, got uh, this here. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually a race car in the back. Over there, you can't see it too well. Hang on, I'm gonna run right in. You can see there that was a car that was made. Uh, and the, uh, you can actually see he's building uh, one that's. You see the frame leaning up yeah. inside it. He's working on that one, so that's pretty cool. And so, okay, uh, so let's, let's start, start moving quick because there's a lot of cars to you see. see. This car, you don't want to be the passenger seat in that one. <laughs> a little crunch. Just a little bit. But uh, now, let's story over here, James. 
Those are Jamaican kit cars. He has four of them, and they're actually a Jamaican kit car. And they were really, really cool because uh, it, it was a guy's own design, and I think it's a beautiful looking car. And uh, he has another one over here. And I think I, I just think it was kind of cool. And again, it was a Jamaican kit car, so I think it's pretty cool. Now uh, I will. Uh, Everything here is for sale, by the way. We'll run through Mercedes. This is a, this is this, is this a, one is not for sale. Yeah, this one is actually not. This one is a vet that he picked up. He said this might go into his personal collection, which is uh, pretty cool. He has a lot of panels, uh, door panels and stuff like that over yeah. here as well. And let's go check out a uh, another real cool car, uh, Corvette there that he has. Hang on, we're just going to go from here. And so that that there, yeah, Zach, what is that? The Series 1 Jaguar E-Type hood. The rest and, then of the, the car. and then the body of it is right over there. The rest of it is over there. Correct. And there's a uh, Lamborghini over there as well. There's a Gallardo. So uh, we can actually, uh, if we uh, take a look at that Lamborghini, uh, it is a pretty cool. They have another vet here. If you notice, they're going to have a lot of vets here. They have uh, this Corvette here, which is cool. And uh, you can take a look in here. Look at that there. What is that? It's like a Baja Beetle, Volkswagen Beetle, and then that's some sort of custom-made fiber. I think that's body. that's like a, a like a, a race car. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Look in here. Got a vet there. Another car under there. Beautiful Jag there. That is amazing. Look and at that. This. That that there. Some someone. I have no doubt. Someone is freaking out, saying, "Oh my God! Oh my God!" Exactly. And you can see here. Lamborghini, look at this. And it got the engine in it and all, and it got a pile of Okay, stuff. let's race. Race. Exactly. Come on, yeah, these ones to keep here, I'm not sure if these ones are for sale. I'm, so I'm pretty sure I, I thought that one was. But they I'm might not. be, but uh, don't be surprised if you message and they're not. But you can still message them and, uh, and uh, look. Okay, now we're racing to uh, the next area would be the Porsches. Exactly. Well, let's, let's head over to the Porsches. Here on the yeah, check out this Maserati. Oh, yeah, Tell yeah. Us about this one. So, this is a late 60s, early 70s Maserati Indy with a California blue plate. Must have come up from the States. Beautiful car. Campagnolo forged wheels. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. I believe that one is for sale. Looks very good. Yeah, 40, uh, some of that. I'm not sure exactly what that one is. But. Let's take a look at some of the uh, some more cars over here. And remember, there's, guys, an, there's another everything. view of that uh, kit car there. And you can yeah. see from the view, a straight on view, you guys yeah. can really see how cool yeah. that car looks. And there's a lovely uh, Ferrari over here. Easily restorable. Yeah, a little bit of paint, that'll be fine. Exactly. Nice <laughs> Alpha here. Tell Alpha. us about this one, eh? That is a Pagoda style Mercedes 230, 250, or 280 SL. It's hard to tell. It's a little far gone, but it could still be restored. Very good. It looks really cool. And guys, this is a Porsche Alley here. They got a ton of really cool cars. Tell us about uh, the Porsche that's right in the middle here, because I believe this one here is uh, quite significant. So there's actually four here that I can count. There are Porsche 356 coupes. What, what's this one? That's 356. 356, 356, 356. There's four of them here. Wow. Sitting next to another Ferrari body there. There's two Ferraris Yeah, so these, there. yeah, these are these are newer, and these are salvaged, obviously. Uh, uh, salvaged Ferraris, or maybe parts, but there's Corvettes over in the back there, Volkswagen, row of Mercedes in the back tell there. Tell us about this Porsche that's over 911 here. 911 Turbo. Oh, yeah. They got some really cool cars. They actually have a, a newer Porsche body over there in the in the side there. They got an Alpha here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And uh, a Camaro there, a Where? Right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look, an old Firebird there. Oh, look at that. Like a, another Porsche 911. Hello, that's pretty cool. And uh, we got, we, there is quite a lot of, uh, of you know, uh, Porsche and Porsche Alley. They even have a newer, a newer Camaro, which is really cool to see. Yeah, but nothing. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Another Ferrari. Yeah. Slightly crispy. Al Dante, you could say. Al Dante. And so now this this one is uh, 
Okay, maybe two coats of paint, would you say, uh, Zach? Uh, uh, two or three, maybe Luckily, a little bit of the thing about this work. one is it might look bad, but it is still restorable. And there, sitting behind it is a Toyota FJ40 Cruiser. Those are going up in value. That big truck there. Yeah. Down there is a little MG. Actually looks to be in quite good shape. Yeah, I get, I get a feeling that may be kit. Look at that little one in the back over no, there. No, that's a, that's a factory car. That one? Yeah, MGTC. Nice. And there, right there, is a brick one, Canadian made. We're gonna we're gonna look at that in a second, but see that little fella? That the... little fella there is a Nash Metropolitan. They were very, very common. They were a little economy car back in the 50s. Awesome. Okay, so so now underneath here, I think that's a Cutlass. That looks like a, a Pontiac, uh, actually a Pontiac Le Mans. Oh, okay. Very good. And uh, see, yeah, see, this is what they, there, thankfully, is cool. thankfully, we brought Zach, who is able to an expert look at a bumper and be able to tell you every kind of car, which is amazing. Exactly. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, really <laughs> this is a Corvette here, I believe, right? Yeah, C4. It's like a track car type thing. And behind it is an older Chevy convertible that looks like it's seen better days, but could still be saved. Exactly. And okay. Vet there. They got some other. So there's a lot of Corvettes. A, a lot, lot of Corvettes. Corvettes. Exactly. So Easy. here's here's the brick one we were talking about. Very cool. Very rare car. I believe they're made of fiberglass, so yeah. you don't have to deal with any rust. Yeah. There's a R107 Mercedes back there. There's a few of those in this yard. Yeah, someone someone is referring to Zach as an encyclopedia. Yes. Oh, that is correct. Well, thank you. available 24-7. That's sure. right. Yeah, we'll, we'll give out his phone. Okay, That's so right hang on. Price. Some beautiful cars over, over there that I want to get to. So yep. let's uh, get around this Mercedes here. Oh, yeah. This is another Lamborghini Gallardo shell, a hard top. I believe he's selling it and there's another one just behind that Porsche 928 exactly yeah we're going to come back to that row let's let's go in here first what do we have right here Zach uh, another Pontiac Le Mans uh, early 70s 71 72 yeah. on their other side is a Studebaker Avanti yeah this, this was later build cars now the if I'm not mistaken um I keep thinking that there was a resto done of this car that um, Alice Cooper bought. Yes, that so, is correct. So, uh, so this is a really, really cool car. If you're going to do a reno, uh, it's got a unique front. Let's take a quick look at that front. Very, very cool. Another Corvette. What do we have over there? This is another R107 Mercedes. It's a little far gone, but it could be a good parts car for your restoration. And then over here? Uh, an R107 Mercedes. This Great. one's better. Certainly better than the other one. So now, th this over here, here's a couple that is uh, big for our Mustang friends. Look, a yeah, couple of classic Mustangs. Mustang convertible. Hey, I think my buddy Mo would be into these. Yeah, this is uh, this is the one we wanted to show Mo. It's hard to get in here, but look at the. Uh, nevertheless, that's a beautiful car. Convertible roof looks really nice. Look at the T-bar roof on the Corvette as well. That's right here. Yeah, that's right. There's another Mustang in back. Looks like a '65 or '66 coupe. Yeah, that is really nice. Uh, now listen, uh, what's what's the car beside it? Do you think, Zach? Over um, there. It looks like another Pontiac GTO convertible, maybe. It's tough yeah. to say, but I believe that's what that is. Yeah. And in the very corner there's another is the exact yeah, is yeah. the exact yeah. model that James has. Yeah, it looks like a fourth gen, yeah. Yeah. SN ninety five. So that's awesome. So okay, so now let's let's take a look at this Ferrari here. Another one. This one is also savable. Needs a, it, it does need quite a bit of work, but you know what? It's it looks savable. It looks all right. They got a. I'm not exactly sure the model of this one because I can't really get in back to tell. But the, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it that's is. cool. That is cool. That's great. Now, Fiero over there. And by the way, to no point out something about these, uh, <laughs> something to point out about these Ferraris. A lot of them here, like this one, it has the rims on it as well, so it has the original Ferrari rims. So that's cool to see. Nice uh, Corvette there. Another Stingray. One. Yeah. And a fourth gen Camaro there. That could be a good little track car for somebody. 
Yeah, okay. Half a Corvette up there. Exactly. See the very top there? There, There is another Ferrari. Yeah. Uh, Ferrari, yeah. So, so that's very... like a 356, I think. Okay, and then over here, which is unique to uh, a number of my friends uh, in the kit uh, car business and guys that love kit cars, I'm going to show you, but um, I'm trying to remember what he called this one. I, I keep thinking it was like something like a... Oh, Invader. Invader, that's it. Thanks, James. <laughs> that's what it was. Uh, yes, yes. It is a, 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 yeah, this kit car over here is an Invader. It's a cool, cool custom car. Okay. Uh, it's not a replica of anything. It is a custom design. Um, and I, I, you know, I think it, 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 it has, uh, it has potential to be changed a little bit to make it a really cool looking car. But, you know, of course so, there's the, uh, a few problems like it, uh, it doesn't have a door. Doesn't have a windshield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> All slight problems, but you know, it doesn't have yeah, a little, engine little paint. Love that bumper, but you know what? I'm gonna be huh. honest the uh, the tip of it, although it doesn't look you know, it, it's not proportionately great, but it does look a little bit cool. So, I think I think it has who, who, potential. Who and who and, and hey, if it's if somebody it? likes it, somebody picks it up, somebody might like it, so that's all good. So, uh, tell us a little bit about this car here. Cause I think there's a, I, I I don't think we really need a, much of an explanation for a car like this one, but it's a know. Corvair. It's a yeah, exactly. 19, what year do you think it is? 1966 Corvair. One of my earliest favorite cars was the Corvair a long time ago, and then it very quickly became my not favorite car. This is one of the largest single pieces of automotive glass in the entire world. This is a 1966 Barracuda Fastback. Wow. And I believe this still holds the record for the largest single piece of glass. For an automotive um, <laughs> application. Wow. Very, very cool. This is this is a gorgeous car. AMC and Here we go. Exactly. And Getting into some of the muscle and cars. And some of here. them, some of them ran, uh, you know, before, so they ran and drive, which is cool. Supposedly these drove in here perhaps a year or two ago, so they're likely an easy one to get running again. Well, let's let's go and see if we can get some, a little bit of a better picture on this one. So I'm glad for all of you joining us, uh, watching live, and uh, we're here in heaven. Yeah. Absolutely. And we're gonna take a look at another vet here, of course. And look in there. That is a beautiful beetle there. It's a beautiful paint job. Look at that, eh? Isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Gorgeous. Yeah. Right out of the seventies. So just so that you know, because I, I know this is not uh, something that you may be aware of, Zach, but this is what we call groovy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Anything in there? Oh, well, no, I was just checking, but there's actually some nice rims. So it looks like they have some rims what, what, here what as well. It's like a Cadillac, I think. Or a Ford Taurus. I think it's just a Ford Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> it's like but they, they oh, lose the rims though. What? This might be a Ford Taurus show. SHO with a Yamaha V6. That oh, might yes. actually be that a rare sense, car. That makes sense because we know that the collector here did not just pick up any kind of car. He was always looking for cars that he can renovate. Exactly, and particular so, in there, he has some nice rims as well. So, so what do we have here? This him. Mercedes this here. This is another R107 and another one there, the yellow one. Quite a popular car. I guess he was a fan of those. Another yeah. C3 Corvette there as well. They have a Nova in there as well. Oh, look at the Nova! Nova. Woohoo! And another, another R107. Yeah. And then a Camaro. It, a Camaro. Wow. Very, very cool. It all looks really good. Of course, another vet. There's a lot of vets in here. Another, although this is uh, slightly cracked at the top. I have a, a T-bar uh, roof with this one. There's another Le Mans 72 convertible. This was a special car. This is a C2 Corvette Stingray. It's a little worse for wear, but I think it could still be brought back. Everything can be brought back. It's just a question of How time and money, yeah. So if you're able able to get these at a decent price, what would you be able to do with them? What do you think's under this? Uh, it is tough to say. It might be another Le Mans. This might be a Camaro, I think. Yeah, that's a Camaro. So this is again Camaro. 
Oh, and that metal block. Geez, what's these round things at the top, eh? <laughs> uh, the good old days. So let's, let's see it from the side there, Zach. It's a little tough to get it all the way up. Yeah, that's okay. It's Gives us an idea. In the door. It's been painted orange. I tell you, with how these things are, dents are the least of your problems. <laughs> this this is definitely an adventure for anyone who wants to go after any of these cars. What do we have here again? Yet another R107 560SEL, late model. Uh, very, this very is nice. a special car here. Yeah, so let's let's get uh, let's uncover this. This one looks really cool. So this is a Tri-5 1957 Chevy Bel Air. These are hugely popular right now in the hot rodding world. Wow. And this appears to be a four door. It's really cool to learn about, uh, you know, how people are really hot rodding some of these, uh, you know, older. Uh, oh my you know, God! Uh, hey, engines, eh? it's look, really cool. look at that. Okay, wow. hang on, hang on. James, move, move, take a step back here. I gotta take a look at this. And this one is restorable. I think any of these are restorable. Yeah. Easily. Moe's restorable. just checking in with us. Mo, Hello, I hope Mo. you've seen those two uh, Mustangs that we're looking at. Let's look at this one now. Holy smokes. Original radio in it. It's cool to see. I'm learning about how people wow. are. Wow. Uh, look at uh, that. I'm learning about how people are really hot rodding and, you know, tuning up these uh, really cool older carbureted V8 engines. It's really cool to see. But, yeah. Look at that. Now, that is a picture. Oh, it is. That is amazing. This is the and the Bel Airs are going up in value as well, eh? No, well, they're hugely popular right now with the hot rodding community. There's some parts for them here. Okay, so let's let's cover that one back up. Oh yeah, that is so cool. Now, this one can this this is what you might call some risky business buying this one <laughs> <laughs> this one here uh, you know a 928 cool car cool car it's uh i know a lot of you know it was a really respected car it still is i i i, I personally yeah. really love the car i think uh no you know, no there's no motor in this fella no there isn't but a lot of a lot of the uh, cars um had the motors taken out i don't know if that that won't open that way yeah i don't believe so but yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I really love that Porsche there. It. Uh, oh, what what is that yeah, one again? Yeah, the uh, one, one down one. there. This one. Yeah, that's the a one. nice that old a, one. That is an old 911 first generation. That is so, awesome. It's cool to see we, what the 911 went from. So that's cool to see. Did did we did we cover everything? Do you think? I think we've I covered. We've covered as much as we, we can. We we've covered almost everything. You know, they got a lot of cool stuff. And guys, one more that I do want to show is the uh, the. I think we we went past it earlier, but that Alpha that's over there. If you're looking to uh, build a race car, oh man, you and know stuff, who you know who you can I'm get thinking? one of them. I'm thinking of our buddies from Verac. Exactly, I was saying the same thing. If you that guys be, are looking yeah. for a car that you guys can put into Verac, they can race with a Verac. You can get that. You can change it, restore it, fix it up, and it's really good. But uh, I think it's cool. We really covered a lot of stuff, and you can reach out to him if you're interested in getting the car. Not if you're looking to kick tires, if you're interested. Serious okay? buyers only. Folks. Exactly. Yeah and, yeah, and the reason is, respectfully, the reason is just time. You know, it's man's like, a, this man's a very busy man. He has yeah, a lot and, to do. and to be, you got to be fair and respectful to guys. Exactly. You know, it's like, I mean, if you're interested and want to know how much something's worth, Google it. Exactly. And don't disrespect yeah. the, uh, the value of the cars that are here either. There's lots of beautiful cars here that there could is. be worth a great deal of money. The Ferrari collection alone. Exactly. But I think we've uh, kind of uh, covered up everything. Covered everything. One last here. look. Look at everything. There's a Ferrari up on the top tons there. Of vets, doing a truck. Tons yeah. of Ferraris, tons yeah. of Porsches, tons of Mercedes, Mustangs, everything. They got everything. Again, they got a beautiful Bel Air. They have some kick so, cars. Yeah. So they have a little bit for everything, but I want to, uh, for now, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Zach, for giving us a tour. Zach, that was everything. awesome for you to be here. More than welcome, Mark. It was but good to see David here as well. Exactly. Yes, it, was. it was all very cool. But I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.